Well, um, hello. Um, so, found this voice meme on Stripe's page, and, you know, no one's really home other than my sister, and, you know, felt like doing it since when my parents are home. Voice recording is really hard, um, because they're loud. Uh, so, yeah, decided to do this for just fun. Um, so, beginning. Number one, what's your name? Uh, I'm Brittany. Uh, username on for Affinity is DJ Hun. Deviant artist Honey Apple Ninja, and those both names came from just a lot of different things uh, within the past few years that really will take forever to <laughs> describe. So I won't. Um, two. How old are you? I am currently 17. Um, turned 17 back in June. And can't wait to be 18, even though it scares the crap out of my family. <laughs> um, three. Where are you from? Are you living there right now? I am living and was born in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, I like it here. And I really don't plan on going anywhere else for a long, long while until maybe job opportunities decide to change that after college. Um, nice place. Beautiful especially in the more, uh, just mountain areas. Um, number four. What is the time? It's currently 3.44 p.m. Just got out of school about half an hour ago and had nothing better to do. <laughs> uh, number five. Is it cold where you are? No, even though it should be. Um, we're actually getting really weird weather, uh, where it should be cold, it's hot, and where it should be hot, it's cold. Um, and because of that, we've actually had recent tornado warnings going all throughout the state. Yay, for living in Tornado Alley. Ugh. Um, number six, what are you wearing? Well, a pair of bluish gray jeans and a Dark Knight Joker shirt. It's the only thing I'm going to really say. Uh, number seven. What was the last thing you listened to? Um, last thing I listened to was part of the uh, Almost Alice soundtrack. And it was 303 and Neon Hitches' Follow Me Down. Um, I've been listening to that obsessively for the past few days. So it's no real surprise coming from me. Um, number eight. What was the last thing you ate? last thing I ate was a Snickers bar, and that thing was good. <laughs> Number nine, what was the last thing you watched on TV? Um, if I'm right, it was uh, Kesha's Take It Off video this morning on VH1, considering it's the only thing that's ever on anymore in the mornings. Um, what's your favorite TV show and why for number ten? Uh, that's a really hard one considering I don't like television, but um, if I had to really choose, I'd go with Law & Order Special Victims Unit. Uh, the other Law & Orders are alright, but Special Victims Unit was always my favorite considering um, Olivia and Elliot. Those two are the best characters in the whole series. Um, quick, find a book or something with text on it, flip to a random page and read some of it. Okay. Um, Find a book, 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 find a book. Okay, now, I guess I'll go with this one. It's actually not my book. It's a gift for a teacher of mine. It's called Hugs for Teachers. Okay. Among all your former teachers, who is the one to this day that inspires you? Who first challenged you to think outside the box? Who took special interest in your work? Who motivated you to get to class early, stay up late, or dream bigger dreams? Which one of your teachers or professors awakened you to a subject that had a previous history of putting you to sleep? Which teacher stoked your courage to give a speech, try out for a play, or apply to a uh, for a coveted scholarship? Of all of them, who was it you lived to please the most? Alright then. Um, number 12. What was the last movie you saw, and how was it? <laughs> Actually, this was only a few days ago. I went for the third time to go see Despicable Me. And... 
easily my favorite movie of this year. It is just love the animation, I love the character design, I love the voice acting, every bit of that movie I loved. Number 13. Do you think you have an accent? Talk about that. Hmm. Well, I'm pretty sure I have part of an accent considering I'm from the South and my mother was Southern raised, my dad was uh, raised up in Philly, so I kind of have both. Um, both of them kind of come out every once in a while, but I try to speak plain English, every, you know, as much as possible. But uh, if you can hear it, hey, tell me, really, because I, I don't really know. Because if I was, like, probably down in Texas, they'd think I was just from somewhere alien. <laughs> um, no offense to Texans, I'm just saying. Because, <laughs> you know, I know people in Texas. Okay. Um, now I'm going to tag some people, and this is where it gets interesting. Okay, I'm going to tag... The first person I'll tag is Salem Uvi, because I love my Sal Pants, and Sal Pants is the first one always, because kitty. Kitties always get the first stuff. Um, I'm also going to tag Jabberwocky Chamber, just because she's awesome and I feel like she should do this too. And then the third person shall be vulnerability because honestly she interests me and I want to I want to know I'm, I'm curious to hear her voice um this is way longer than it should be but I don't know I hope you like it <laughs>